Hi everyone, if you have a question, raise your hand and we'll come to you. If we're all ready, we'll kick off with Sam Dean from The Telegraph. Hi Sam. Well, obviously very sad and disappointed um, with the final result. Um, it was a tie of very small margins. Um, in the first leg, obviously, we conceded uh, two very poor goals. Um, that has a, a big effect in the tie. We're still alive, came here, and really proud of the players and how they stood up and the way they tried to play, what they tried to do, especially in the first half. Um, and then it was a game that you could see an error, an individual magic moment. It was going to decide the tie. The margins are so small. And, uh, and yeah, we didn't defend well at all our box in, in that action. And, um, and we end up after throwing everything and trying everything, not having enough um, to score a goal and, and have an option to go through the tie. Well, credit to the opponents as well. You know, it's, it's very difficult to, to break opponents down, especially when they, they play the manner that they play, which they never do. Um, but we had our moments, especially in the first half. In the second half, we struggled a little bit more um, to keep that rhythm, that momentum. Um, with the changes we tried in a, in a different way, and um, they never games with big, big chances. Very rare to see that at this stage of the Champions League. Um, but it's the moment to be next to our players, to thank them for the journey uh, that we've been both together. Unfortunately, end up today. It is painful, uh, but we have to learn from it. Great. Any games from the Guardian? Hi. Was, there, was there any tiredness maybe towards the end of that second half? It just looked maybe that Bayern were that little bit sharper as the game went on. And do you think Bayern maybe had, had that extra bit of belief in how to win this kind of tie? I don't know if it was about belief, obviously the goal obviously put them uh, in a very different position and um, they kept adapting and, and making changes um, to defend even deeper, but uh, I saw the players really willing, trying their best. Uh, it wasn't enough, it's true, that we lacked that magic moment that is needed in this competition to unlock it, to, to make something happen uh, when the game requires to open that door. Um, we didn't have it and um, and that's what we are at. Jordan from the okay, is this a a case of a test like this coming too soon in this team's development and that you need years upon years to learn how to win games like this? Well, we haven't played in a competition for seven years. We haven't been in this position for 14 years. Um, there's a reason for it, you know, and, uh, and we want to do everything fast forward super quick uh, in one season and, uh, and I thought we had the, the capacity and the quality to to win the semi-finals because the margins have been very small. But um, those margins, some that are coming from something else that um, that maybe we don't have yet, and we have to learn it. And when you look historically, all the clubs to get to certain stages, they took them seven, eight, some of them ten years to do it. But um, today, that is not going to make us as feel better, that's for sure. Alex, BBC. Hi, Mikhail. It's been two disappointing results for you in, in, a, in a few days. How do you stop that disappointment affecting the, the rest of the season? Well, I, I wish that I had today the right words with the players to make them feel better. Um, what I'm going to do for sure, all the staff, all the coaching staff, is be close to the players. I feel so um, grateful and to be their coach and to work with them every single day. And what they need to do is that we stand right next to them, give them our support, our love, and, um, and we have to pick it up because on Saturday... We have a big, big, big game. Uh, we are still playing for the Premier League. The Premier League is there. And, uh, and we really want it. And we have to show now that we are capable of turning this around. James ESPN. Hi, Mikel. You said earlier that Bayern played in a manner that they never normally do. Mm -hmm. Could you just expand on that? And were you surprised by quite how defensive they were? No, because they were very similar at the Emirates. And we expected um, that approach. But um, they believed that obviously was the best way to to beat us and, and credit to them and congratulate them for sure for what they've done because they've done it um, really well and um, and when there were little margins they were slightly better than us and uh, that's what they are through. OK, we've got the last two now. Firstly, Kaya from Football London. The game, you said that moments were going to be the things that decided the time that's what's turned out on the night. I know you've mentioned there that history's been part of it in sort of experience but what, what else do you think makes the difference of deciding the moments as to why Bayern were able to take their moments and maybe Arsenal weren't? 
Well, there were two big moments in the first leg, or three big moments in the first leg, and uh, and it didn't go our way, and um, and that's a big factor, and uh, we will all learn from it. Me, the first one, um, because I'm the maximum responsible for that, and uh, I will try to be better next season. And finally, to Isan from the Daily Mail. Hi, Ricard. Hi. Arsenal, of course, made a lot of progress this season, which created high expectation. After the defeat to Villa and the defeat tonight, how painful was this feel for you? Yeah, he's there, and uh, and he's not going to go away, certainly um, tonight, but I can guarantee you by tomorrow we are full focus on Wolves, and um, and everybody's lifted because what we still have to play is beautiful, and I said before, it's time to be next to our players, and in this moment, not when you win 10 in a row and, and a draw, that's easy to prize our players and to be behind them and to talk really nice things. The moment is now to be next to them. Okay, everyone, thanks very much. Yeah. Thank you.